Okay, folks, I just want to let you know where we stand on this. I'm waiting on a new cutter for my mag drill. Uh, gonna get an inch and a half, or got an inch and a half coming, carbide tipped, and uh, we'll use it to put these holes in. We'll mark it out where we want them and then space them and you know, use a center punch and then we'll use the uh, mag drill to go ahead and get these drilled. So I've held up on that. That's why I went ahead and went to the uh, went to the outrigger and uh, I'll show you more on it. Okay, outrigger. You can see this is the back of the cab. And if you notice there's some rust here, I'm going to tell you, you know, there's not on the other side. The rust is here because the battery box is here. And, you know, you get that acid, the fumes of a, of a battery charging and that's why we've got a rust section here. So we'll we'll repair that. That's not a problem. But but that's the reason for that. You know, the cab's not rusted all out or anything. You can see the quarters or the cab corners are just perfect. But, but the battery's done that. Uh, you know, like we said, we're gonna have our subframe, you know, right on top of this frame, which is either gonna be a two by four thick wall tubing or a two by six. I'm not positive yet what I'm gonna use. I may go with six. Uh, what we're going to do is run a, we'll run plates off of it down to the side of the frame and you know if we got to move some bolts it's not a big deal but we'll run plates down and we'll bolt them plates directly to here. Now the last one I done I actually ran the, the full length and I don't think we're going to do it on this one. You know we'll run quite a few but uh, I don't have the steel to do the fuel full and, and you know we're, we've got a lot of weight here already so we need to try to keep, keep from getting too much on. But our outrigger uh, is going to actually run across under the frame and come out here. And uh, we'll center it up and then we'll run plate off of it and come up to the side of the frame. Now I do want to make it where, you know, I may put a, a mounting bracket on the outrigger and then bolt the plate to the outrigger because we want to be able to take the outrigger down and off if we have to because the transfer case is right there directly inside of there. So we don't want to block it into where we can't get our transfer case off in the future. We'll get that tucked up as high as we can get it. And then of course it will extend out here and then you know have hydraulic legs that go down on it. So that's what we're going to work on today is going on and finish getting the outrigger cleaned up. And uh, once it's cleaned up and ready, you know we're going to keep working on our trolley and stuff but we'll go ahead and I'm going to get the steel lined up and get the steel for the uh, for the subframe and go ahead and start building it. But uh, we'll get the uh, get the outrigger around here and get it cleaned up. Show you more. Okay, folks, I've got it around here to the concrete finally, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. I'll cut it around here. This is the main frame extending out the back. We'll get the rest of the bed cut off. I'll get it all cleaned up, and then I'll, I'll put, probably put some air to it and show you the cylinders come out. Uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on with this one, but I see the, the pin's actually missing out of it. So get a pin back in it. We'll put some air to it, and I'll show you what she looks like. Show you more. Okay, folks. Put this thing on a diet. And you can see we've got most of it off. There's the pieces that came off of it and uh, they didn't skimp on the welding. You know, I think I found one little place that was about two inches that they didn't weld, but they welded full length on the top, everything. So we've got a lot more cleaning up to do, but moving right along. Sure lighting it up anyway, getting all that stuff off of it. So we'll keep at it a little while and then I'm gonna show you how, the, uh, how far they go out and you know, how they work. Show you more. Okay, folks, what we've got here, put some air on these outriggers and they won't push out. Uh, of course, air pressure, you know, is not nothing nearly as strong as hydraulics, but, you know, after some cylinders have been sitting a while and stuff like that, they sometimes tend to give problems. So, uh, I've got this laying on the rollback bed. I've got the cable at the front. I've got to change it to back. We're just going to try to pull it apart and uh, we'll measure and see how wide it is and then push it back together and it'll probably operate off air after that, but thing's just been sitting for years so let's uh take the free wheel off the winch first and we'll give it a try
I'm just going to start shooting fluid out one of these hoses. All right, here's this one coming out. Oh, I know we're going to have a mess. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Well, I oil my bed up good anyway. That must be all the way on that one. So, now this one's starting to go. We'll be real careful here at the end. All right. It's going to be the full, full width. Which is not great, but I mean, that still gives you a lot wider footprint than uh, if you was to put them straight down. So, we'll go ahead and check and see how wide this is in comparison to the truck. And you just figure, you know, eight foot on the truck. So, we'll measure this out and I'll let you know. Okay, folks, that's going to put us right at 12 feet. So, that's two feet on each side. And that's a, that's a pretty good setup shouldn't be too bad and uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll push this back together with the machine and then uh, we'll try to get it back on the forklift and maybe we can get where we can put some air on it and uh, run it back and forth a few times get it freed up good because I, you know I know the cylinder's fine inside because you can see the oil you know it's not uh, it's not full of water or anything like that anytime you get water in a hydraulic system it's gonna be yellow or white looking and uh, you know sitting this long it wouldn't have you know without running it probably would have separated again but you would still have pure water coming out and then pure oil too but this is all oil so i think we're fine there but i'll keep at it and see what we can get figured out okay folks uh got it back up here when i left it out i hadn't pushed it back in yet i tried to push it back in with air and it wouldn't do it uh which coming out to the ends like that, you know, we can probably hit it with a hammer and, you know, sledgehammer and get it back started a little bit, but uh, I need to do some measuring anyway, so it's not a problem, but it looks like the way that we're gonna do it, you know, this is, the main is not real wide, you know, it's six foot something, but by the time these are all the way in, and they do come in until they hit, so, my outriggers will weld to the end of these, of course, and they go vertical down. And uh, they're going to be probably six inches. So this piece will get redone or taken off. And they'll be six inches out. So our measurement has to be to the outside. And, uh, you know, the six inches out for a full width. And from the looks of it, we're going to be just a little bit over 12 feet, you know, extended and just a little bit over eight when they're in. And what I'll do is I'll build this, and this, this will be one of the first things that we put on uh, along with the uh, subframe, and then we'll, our uh, piece for the, you know, for our slewing gear and our slide, we'll put it in. But one of the reasons I want to do this first, and besides ease of getting to it, is the fact that whatever this width comes out to be is what my bed width is going to end up being. Because the way that I want to do it is when this is in, and our outriggers here vertical and like I said it will be welded in so you know it'll never move uh, the outside of this when I pull this bed all the way in or pull these outriggers all the way in I want it to be even with the outside of the bed and that way it'll it'll just look like it's you know part of the bed until you extend it out and then uh, we'll go from there but that's the reason that I want to do that and like I said I need to put some plates on here you know, you can see it's braced pretty good here. They plated it and for strength. And then here's where the frame came in. So this is gonna be 34 inches from here to the other side where the weld's at. That's somewhere about where our plate will be. But I wanna build a plate and then maybe make it flat up here and then make it bolt on where we can put bolts in it. And you know, healthy, good bolts. But, uh, and you know, some heavy plate, half inch or so. And like I said, that way we can drop this off and you know, do any work we need to do on the truck and uh, go from there but you know I'm, I've still got to clean all this up of course and then uh, we'll uh, take it apart and repack re, you know go ahead and repack the cylinders and everything in it or the, the cylinder I'm not sure how this cylinder set up it's looking like there's a center with uh, two bores coming out each end one cylinder but it's separate it's kind of a weird setup but you know, it shouldn't be a problem to get out. There's one pin right here that holds it in. 
and uh, a specialty cylinder, I'm sure. But you know, on a on a cylinder like this, if if your bore is good, you know, your shafts can easily be replaced. You know, you can you know thread the ends or drill them and you know tap them for a bolt on the end to hold the piston on or whatever you got to do. So, and they're not really crazy expensive or anything like that. You know. When I done the outriggers on the, uh, the last wrecker I built, the rear outriggers, I had to make one shaft because one was pitted, and you know pitted shafts end up leaking, and I don't, I don't like that. But uh, definitely don't want hydraulic fluid running down a new paint job. But uh, the other way that we could do this, and this is how we're going to do it on the back, or how I plan plan to do it on the back, we could use this as the bottom, and what we would do instead of putting vertical outriggers here we would actually come out and put feet here. And this whole piece would lift up and down. And the way that you do that, your, sort of your outrigger would be here, you know, on each side of your frame. And then you would have one pin that goes through it to hold everything. And that, that keeps it from being to where you can make this side lower and that side higher, however you have to do it. But uh, that is, you know a possibility but you know I don't want to do it on the sides we're gonna do it on the back and the reason we're gonna do it on the back is that when we swing around the tail we won't interfere with this but you know we're not gonna be swinging far enough to really get involved with this anyway it's gonna be so far forward on the bed so I'm gonna uh, quit running my jaws here and go ahead and get to cleaning up some more these pieces are fully welded all the way down so it's going to take quite a bit to get these off. I'll probably just burn them off from this way and, and then go back and grind everything. Uh, it's going to take a lot of cleanup, but you know, you spend a day on something like this and, and when you're done, you know, you've, you've got a nice, nice outrigger. I mean, this is not, not in bad shape. You can see it looks a little rusty, but you know, it's not a big deal. I mean, nothing, nothing major on it and it'll clean up and, and uh, we'll uh, maybe get it back in and maybe slide it up under the truck for it just to see what she's going to look like before the day's up. All right, I'll show you more. Okay, folks, I've got quite a bit cleaned up here. And uh, what I found I didn't like, the strip that they had welded on there, it was actually, you know, part of the, the top of the bed. It was really thin. They had just laid it over and welded it, and you can see that it's not welded in at all here. And, you know, over time when water gets in something like that and it freezes, it separates some. So there's a pretty good gap there. We're gonna have to, can't get all the crap out of it, but I mean, we're gonna get it as close as we can get it, and then we're gonna weld it. Same thing on this side. We'll weld the whole thing up. Uh, you know, that should have been done, but it's just the way they built it. So uh, we'll get that done and, you know, go back over some of the places where I don't like. You see where it's cracked right here, where they didn't, uh, it was welded in, but it wasn't welded in good, so we'll V that out welded in same way with here and uh, probably put a good weld across there and the reason you have these on here is to keep you know your end from splitting so I mean that's pretty pretty important to have you know a steel ring around the outside and uh, I'm gonna keep cleaning on it and grinding on it you know there's some pitting in here but there's nothing really deep I mean it's nothing that's gonna hurt you know hurt the strength of it you know for what we're using it for and uh, I'll just continue to grind on it, clean it up, and get it up there and get some weld on it, make it look better, and, you know, make it a little stronger. Show you more. Okay, folks, I've got some of it welded here. This is where they had already welded it together. This wasn't a full square piece. This was two pieces that they bent, and uh, so there's a lot more of a radius on this one. So I've got a bigger gap here, but... Uh, but I've got that one welded, and I've, I've got everything welded up here where we need welded. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can fill that and go ahead and, you know, get a good weld over it where it's good and strong. But we've got to come back weld where I've got my clamp here. But uh, we'll get that done, and I'll show you when I'm finished up there. Okay, folks, we've got, uh, we've got this about finished up on this side. You see the welds, they're not beautiful or anything like that, but I mean, they're, they're built to hold, so uh, we're good to go there, and uh, we're going to continue. Got everything cut off of that side. I just got some grinding to do, and you know, we got to weld this up yet. This 
still pretty rough there, but uh, clean a few things up and uh, we will be done with the outside of it here before too long. Then uh, I've got to get some steel and start on the outriggers. The uh, you know that actually go up and down, and uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's getting ready to get dark on me. Uh, either way, I may do a little more work on it, but I'm not going to do any more video on it. So this is going to be it for for now, and uh, we'll continue on. And appreciate everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and I guess just like you don't like. But uh, until next time, bye.